No puedo controlar este sweat. Ya me... I already dried myself twice. I'm trying to speak in Spanish, you know, make a bilingual channel, but it didn't work out. <laughs> oh, it doesn't come naturally. Good morning. Welcome to my channel, Kim's at the Gym. I don't know if it's going to be morning while you're watching this, but good morning. Um, so it is Monday, July 22nd, 2018, and it is around like 4.20, 4.30 a.m. Um, I am about to show you my morning weigh-in. You must be wondering why are you up so early. I am going to go sign up to camp today, so I want to show you guys my weigh-in. Not only because it is part of my morning daily weigh-ins, but I want you guys to see the difference between my scale here at home and the one at camp. So that was fun. Wayne's are never fun. They're a confidence killer, okay? But look at this glow. Must be this gallon of water. Just kidding. Hello, welcome back, reality. So anyways, as you guys saw, the scale here at home is different than the one at camp. And um, I know that to stay in track for the 20 pounds that they're asking me to do at camp, at home, technically, I have to lose 21 point something pounds to be okay for camp. But regardless, that is not my goal. 20 pounds is not my goal for this six-week challenge. It is 30 pounds, well, 25 to 30 pounds because I'm trying to get these 80, 82 pounds now um, out of the way. They give you this big gap um, during December, and I, I don't know if my calculations are correct, but... If I was to do a fourth challenge, my fourth challenge would fall in from December to January. Like, I would have a big three-week gap. And it's the holidays. You tend to put on some pounds. So, it gets harder to pass the challenge. So, I'm really just trying to do 80 pounds for these three challenges. So, 25 to 30 on the first challenge and 25 and 25 on the next one, which add up to, like, 70 pounds. But in the week break that they give you, I want to lose another five pounds. So... Essentially, it adds up to 80, but now it's 82. So, thank you. So, right now, I'm on my way to LA Fitness. I have not had anything to eat for breakfast yet, but um, I will when I come back. I'll, sh I'll be showing you guys what I make. I do not have anything in mind yet. Um, it all depends on what I feel like eating. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go do my cardio three miles because I did not stay for class. Um, so I really do need to get that workout in. I honestly wish I was one of those people that love coming to the gym. I like coming. Don't get me wrong. I like coming and I like having that me time. And I used to love the routine I had for myself when I would come. But I don't love it. And I hate when people like judge you for it. Like, you don't love the gym? Well, learn to love it. Like, it's the best thing and blah, blah, blah. Like... Not everyone loves it. Like, is that an excuse to not come? No. Gotta push through it, but like... I really want to love the gym, but it's just me and the gym aren't friends all the time. But anyways, let me... Let me find my will to get out of this car. Day one. It's gonna stop anytime soon. 
barely got 11 minutes and I haven't even burned a bag of hot Cheetos yet. <laughs> my legs feel like noodles. I cannot feel my legs, so if you live in LA, be careful because I'm driving. So I'm at the 99 cent store. No shame in my game. It's a cheat. I've never bought organic, so I ain't gonna start now. I ain't got a front. I ain't got many like that. I'm craving tuna today, so let's see. Oh, yes. We've got some brushes. This isn't part of my diet, but I mean, it's radish. What is it gonna do to me? And, um, let's see. I don't know what else do you add on tuna. They make my tuna very different, because we can't use mayo, and that I'm definitely not gonna use. But, um, yeah. I should have grabbed a stupid basket. So it is 11 o'clock on the dot and um, you know I went to the gym and everything and I want to show you guys the weight difference from this morning till right now. I have not ate anything because I've been busy and trying to get my food that I'm going to eat but um, yeah let me show you guys a difference. So 233.6 I'm just showing you guys how your weight fluctuates throughout the day and um, yeah like you really can't beat yourself up for ounces or pounds that you've gained or lost like it doesn't show the bigger picture of the results at the end so now 233.6 at camp, that would be 235-ish, 235, I don't know. Point is, it's not the 237 point something that they <laughs> put on my thing, but it doesn't matter. Like, your weight fluctuates, so at the end of the day, you just gotta get to your goal. 80 pounds, 82. So this is my breakfast. It's just egg whites. Um, I did four eggs. I'm supposed to be eating four ounces of protein every three hours. And um, yeah, I'm supposed to be, be eating two ounces of carbs along with my protein and veggies. Right now, I don't feel like eating carbs much. Um, carbs are what fill you up, help you stay full throughout the day so you won't be hungry. So it is important, but for right now, I'll just settle for this. And later on, I'll eat some of this tuna that I made, which I have created a video um, on how to make it. I will upload that separately. But yeah, so this is breakfast, and this might be snack, this might be lunch. I don't know. But we'll see. So it is now 3.05 p.m. It has been four hours since I had my breakfast. I don't have my food scale with me, but I've been measuring my food long enough to know how to eyeball it. But I will start measuring it on camera soon. And It is now 5.37 p.m. And it has been two hours since I've ate my tuna. And I am hungry again. So I'm going to have some cucumber, lemon some tahine and this is the regular one but they do sell low sodium one i just don't have any at the moment and you might be thinking what is this green powder if you're from central america you know what it is um but in el salvador we call it alwaste alwaste and it is basically ground pepita seeds so pumpkin seeds and oh my god with cucumber and lemon and tahine, it is like the best thing ever. I'm tired. So it is 8.06 p.m. I'm ready to call it a night. I have a little issue. I did not eat all my meals today. I only had the four egg whites, 
the four ounces of tuna and a cucumber and a half. So I did not get in all my calories. I didn't get in all my meals. And I feel bad because I'm obviously vlogging. And I don't want to send out that message that I'm under eating or starving myself. That is definitely not the case. I am not doing this on purpose. I'm not trying to under eat on purpose. Um, it was just my fault for waking up so late in the day and having my meals all late. And I'm just too tired to stay up and wait more. Um, so I can have another full meal. But I'm going to go to the kitchen right now and get two egg whites. Finish up my gallon, which is almost done. And um, I'll call it a night. But yeah, I'm so excited to be doing this. And I just love the fact that I'm so comfortable. Like, usually, like, I'm so worried about, like, people seeing me on internet without makeup and stuff like that. But I don't even care about the angles right now. Like, who cares? But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. So. Bye, have a good night.